On day one, I spawned into the tropical islands as a baby guinea pig with seven hearts. Wow, a tropical island. This is way nicer than the kind of thing I'm used to. Why can't I always spawn into places where I can drink from coconuts with cute little umbrellas? I decided I'd explore the island a little and see if I could find a cool place to relax. But in the process, I saw a freaky looking plant monster, a whisperer. You look like you just might be a little lost, sunshine. What are you doing around here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Whisperer. I'm Zozo, and I'm just kind of hanging around. Hanging around? Huh, oh, that's a funny one. The boss is gonna like you. Come with me, Zozo, or things are gonna get tasty. I didn't have any weapons, so I didn't feel like rocking the boat just yet. Instead, I followed Whisperer until we came upon a cute white rabbit. Then the Whisperer hung back. Aw, a cute little bunny rabbit. So nice to meet a fellow rodent out here in the island. Who are you calling a rodent, Pipsqueak? I'm not just a common or garden rabbit, mate. I'm a killer rabbit, and my name is Lord Boss Crime. Don't wear it out. Lord Boss Crime? Hey, I just told you not to wear it out. Guinea pigs must be hard of hearing. Do you know what verisimilitude is? It means displaying the characteristics of truth without necessarily being realistic. Many art critics see it as a higher goal in fiction than realism itself. Ah, uh, cool. Thanks for uh, expanding my vocabulary, Mr. Boss Crime. That's Lord Boss Crime. And if you want to live and thrive around here, you'll do what I say. Be a good little guinea pig, and I'll see that you're taken care of. Be a bad one, and I'll take care of you if you catch my drift. Of course, Lord Boss Crime. I don't want to cause any trouble. I never said you shouldn't cause trouble, sweetheart. Just only the trouble I want caused. For example, there's this deadbeat, Wally the Warped Moscow. I gave him a little loan to build his house with a reasonable 800% interest rate. Take this stone sword and stone pickaxe. I want you to go to his house in the Arakaria Savannah and bust it up. And if he gives you any trouble, show him the business end of this sword. Capiche? He gave me a stone sword, stone pickaxe, and a boat. And I set off on my way to the Arocaria Savannah. Something about this Lord Boss Crime guy seems a little sketchy, but it's either Wally or me. I should probably choose myself, right? On day two, I arrived in the Arocaria Savannah, where it was hot and dry. I needed to find Wally the Warped Moscow's house to engage in a little petty vandalism and leg breaking. The more I think about it, the more this seems like the wrong thing to do. But can I really afford to get on Lord Boss Crime's bad side? Man, all these moral quandaries are making me hungry. Lucky for me, I came across a big spiky fruit laying on the dry savanna ground, a durian. I quickly cracked it open and started munching. It may smell like dirty socks puked out of a butt, but it tastes kind of creamy and delicious, like a nice spreadable cheese. With my hunger bar replenished, I kept searching until I found what must have been and Wally the Warped Moscow's home. Okay, time to do some light vandalism and possible leg breaking. Wait, please, my friend. I turned and saw Wally the Warped Moscow floating towards me. He wasn't going to attack me. He was just going to beg. I know Lord Boss Crime probably sent you, but I promise I am not a bad guy. I'm Wally Ivanovich, a Warped Moscow from Warped Moscow. I thought I could start a new life in the overworld, but Lord Boss Crime caught me in a death trap. That that's so evil! I'm starting to think that this Lord Boss Crime guy is some kind of criminal. I can't carry out the demands of that Weskily Webbit! Thank you, kind guinea pig. I will obtain you a gift of durian from my home. But after Wally went into his home, a devilish whisperer appeared, ready to battle! I knew you were a rat, Zozo. Lord Boss Crime deserves a better class of henchmen like me. We battled with me using the same stone sword that Lord Boss Crime had given me before. Whisperer was tough, 
but I managed to fight him to a standstill. This isn't over, Sunshine. I'll be back. Whisper ran off, and not long after, Wally Ivanovich, the warped Moscow from warped Moscow, emerged from his home. That was amazing, Zozo. I will be forever grateful for this. But I must warn you, after offending Lord Boscrime, a lot of dangerous creatures will be out to get you, my friend. How about you stay with me at my home? We can stick together and make it a base of sorts. That sounds like a great idea, Wally. I'll use these tools to create, not destroy, and build myself a room. I did just that, building a spare room onto Wally's base where I could spend the night in peace. I'll deal with taking on a dangerous crime syndicate tomorrow. On day three, myself and Wally the Warped Moscow decided it was time for a walk. We left our home and wandered off to the Crag Gardens, a treacherous terrain where we hoped to gather some stone. Zozo, my friend, now that we've aligned together against Lord Boss Crime, we need to make better defenses around the base. Yeah, good idea. If a scary gangster bunny is sending his minions after us, we need to be able to keep them at bay. But it wasn't going to be that easy. There was a sinister little creature, the Mantis Shrimp, waiting for us. You better hang back, Wally. I'm gonna go take this guy on. You got this, Zozo. I advanced on the shrimp, but despite his name, he was one tough cookie. You think you can step to the Mantis Shrimp, Bruchacho? You're the one who's gonna be praying. Big talk for a smelly shrimp. My dad was a pistol shrimp. I've got a heck of a right hook, buddy boy. I ran in to attack the Mantis Shrimp. But with one punch, he decimated my heart. I needed to get so much stronger. Uh-oh, gotta go. I ran back and met with Wally, and we ran away together as fast as we could. From day four to day five, myself and Wally decided that we didn't just want to be sitting ducks. If we couldn't build a wall, we'd build another way to defend ourselves. Zozo, back in the old country, I was something of an explosives expert. I think with your help, I can build a trap. That's a clever idea, Wally. Give me some TNT and redstone, let's get working. Wally rustled up all the necessary materials, and we began constructing an ingenious TNT trap just outside the base, complete with pressure pads. Now, we just need to hide, Zozo. How about those bushes over there? We hid behind some nearby bushes and waited for hours. When night fell, we saw the familiar sight of the Whisperer approaching. Lord Boss Crime, you're gonna be so proud of me when I destroy these deadbeats. With my new weapon, anything is possible. But he'd never actually get to use that weapon because he foolishly stepped on the pressure pad of our TNT trap and was destroyed in a massive explosion. Booyah! Direct hit! I went to investigate the massive crater left behind in the explosion just to make sure I really had defeated the Whisperer, but all that was left was his new weapon, an awesome double-sided dancer sword. I equipped it immediately and gave it a few lightning fast swings. With this in my hands, it's rabbit season. From day six to day eight, I was exploring the area right outside my base in search of wild pigs that I could bring back to the base. There's one thing my base is lacking in, it's piggy power. I'm only a guinea pig, so I can't generate that much piggy power on my own. But a drove of porky pals should be just what the electrician recommends. It wasn't long before I found some fine swine to call mine. After talking with them for a bit, I pointed the piggies in the direction of my base. They were so eager to live at the base that they stampeded away together. Hey, wait up, guys! I have short legs! But it was no use. I lost sight of the whole drove and found myself lagging behind in the Araucaria savanna. Well, at least I'm near my base. This is safe territory as far as criminal activity is concerned. As I said that, Lord Boss Crime came hopping towards me like a punishment from the universe itself. How are you doing, sunshine? Lovely day to get messed with, wouldn't you say? Now I'm mad. You came to my biome, which we both know you don't stink and do. What are you talking about? Your biome? This place is under my protection. And if you don't like that, maybe my associate, Mr. Magma Stone Sword will take care of you instead. Lord Boss Crime drew a magma stone sword and started to swing it around. I decided to ask the obvious question. Is Mr. Magma 
stone sword, the magma stone sword that you're holding right now? Yeah, wise guy. And if that's your most burning question, why don't I turn up the heat? Lord Bosscrime closed the distance between us with a single hop and slashed me with the magma stone sword. My poor guinea pig hearts were getting wiped out. I drew my dancer's sword and started to fight back. The increased attack speed helped me land more strikes on Lord Bosscrime, but the attack power of his magma stone sword and the extra fire damage it dealt every few seconds told me that I was losing hearts much faster than Lord Bosscrime. He was just too strong, so I zoomed away as fast as my short legs could carry me, which was faster than I thought before. Times like these, I'm glad that I'm good at sprinting. From day 9 to day 10, Wally the Warped Mosco woke me up and dragged me outside to see something he'd been working on, a statue. Whoa, this is so cool. I can't tell what it's gonna be yet, but I'm excited to see it finished. Can you tell me what it's gonna be? Let me know in the comments. But that wasn't the only thing that Wally the Warped Mosco had been working on. He'd made a furnace for smelting materials. Oh, that's gonna be useful. He'd also made a lounge with a big high definition TV. This is gonna be an amazing place to put our feet up and relax once we've defeated Lord Boss Crime. And for warmer days, he even installed a pool on the base. Oh, Wally, you're amazing. Thank you, Zozo. Yeah, I feel like I don't hear that enough. I just love a swimming in standing water, so I'm stoked to take a dip. From day 11 to day 12, Wally the Warped Mosco invited me into the lounge to watch TV. Is this really the time to watch TV, Wally? We're in a lot of danger right now. But we're not just going to watch TV, Zozo. We're going to watch Lord Boss Crime Origin, the movie he directed and started about his life and rise to power. Wait, he actually made that? Wow, this rabbit is full of himself. But we sat and watched the movie, which was admittedly very well written and directed. And the lead actor's performance brought a real great to the killer bunny. It showed how he arrived in the overworld as a regular rabbit years and years ago until some kind of mysterious incident hardened his heart. From there, he began his ruthless rise to the top, crushing anyone in his way as he grew his criminal empire and arrayed a vast number of scary minions. He became a menace all across the overworld, feared, hated, and universally obeyed. What could have happened to turn a regular rabbit into Lord Boss Crime. Maybe they'll make a prequel series, but we can't wait for the production to complete. We've got to get to the bottom of this now. From day 13 to day 15, I climbed to the treacherous peaks of the Crag Gardens, feeling ready to confront the crustacean who'd bested me before, the Mantis Shrimp. He may have beaten me in combat before, but now I'm ready to battle him my own way. I approached the Mantis Shrimp. He could see the dancer's sword in my inventory. What? Well, well, welcome back, Zozo. I see you've got a weapon. I suppose you're here to fight me since I kicked your butt with my pistol shrimp punches before. No, actually, you have some of the coolest hand-to-hand -hand combat skills of anyone I've ever seen. I don't want to fight you. I want to learn from you, if you're willing to teach me. Oh, wow, I, I didn't expect that. I'm actually quite flattered. Sure, I can teach you a thing or two. Then began an awesome training montage where Mantis Shrimp taught me his mountain shrimp hand-to-hand -hand style. By the end of the training, I'd gotten so skilled that I leveled up. 12 hearts and new ability, Claw Attack. Use it well, young Padawan. I'm not sure what a Padawan is, but I promise to be a good student and use my abilities responsibly. From day 16 to day 19, I decided it was time to level up my mining and crafting abilities. My dance her sword is amazing, but my stone pickaxe is looking a little old and busted. It could use some work. I explored the savanna until I found an interesting cave opening in the ground, the kind of place that looked like it might have some rich mineral deposits. A mining, I will go. I descended into the deep, dark mining cavern, wielding my deadly double-edged sword. It wasn't long until I 
found some valuable iron deposits and also a mad butcher swinging around a big blade. Time to butcher the butcher. With no time to waste, I leapt in, slicing and dicing until the butcher was no more. After that, I mined as much iron ore as I could and returned to the base. Time to smelt. I smelted the iron ore into some ingots and built myself some iron boots and an awesome iron sword and pickaxe. Let's mine tonight, get your creepers. From day 20 to day 22, I heard the pigs sounding the alarm outside and went to find Wally. Wally, what's going on? We're under attack, Zozo. It's Lord Bosscrime. He come to tear down our base and turn it into another criminal warehouse for criminal activity. Not a criminal warehouse for criminal activities. I'll go out there and show him a warehouse. And by that, I mean, I'll make him want to leave and he'll say, where is my house? Wally just stared at me for a moment. Pretend that made sense. I'm gonna go do something brave. Outside, I confronted Lord Crime Boss face to face. I thought I told you that you're not welcome around here. That's not very nice. Then again, I'm a ruthless criminal bent on making your life worse. So <laughs> I guess it's warranted. By the way, do you know what gerrymandering means? I'll gerrymander you. And no, I don't know what it means. I'm not old enough to vote like most of the people watching this. This time, Lord Bosscrime didn't have his magma stone sword, so I drew my dancer's blade and encircled him, getting in several tactical hits. Ouch, that hurt a bit, sunshine. I'm gonna leave now, because today is my beaten down fools who defy me cheat day. He hopped away, too quickly for me to attack. It was clear that he wasn't even trying, and it technically was not a fight, but it still made me feel good. From day 23, to day 26, I was wandering around the savanna again, just thinking about life. You know, being a guinea pig isn't easy, but what in life is easy? It's the challenge that makes the reward so sweet. That's when I came across a wide pit in the ground. It'd take a lot of time to crawl into, but maybe this would be the perfect place to prove my new philosophy. Time for a little spelunking. I climbed down into the pit, being very careful not to fall. It wasn't easy, but once I'd reached the bottom, I found an awesome pig gold chest plate. Now that's some piggy power. I equipped the chest plate under my fur and picked up a note from the chest. It read, to whomever finds this, use it with honor and courage. My only regret was not doing the same. That and not searching ZO ZO for more Minecraft adventures. Huh, got a little specific towards the end there. From day 27 to day 31, Wally the Warped Moscow was still working on the statue, which looked tedious, but it seemed like it was giving him a sense of purpose. I decided to ask him about his work, not because I was genuinely curious, but because I wanted to be polite. How goes the statue building, Wally? Oh, it's, how do you say, a, a little rocky. Yeah, you'll get that several days from now. I bet it will be really funny. Yeah, I am having trouble with the statue. I need more wool to complete it. I can rustle some up for you. And I would. Didn't need to ask any more follow-up questions. I just knew intuitively where I needed to go. I'm going to the beach, baby. A moment later, I appeared at the rocky beach. Well, technically, I rode there. But for all of you watching, it was a moment. I fought some skeletons that were there. Stay out of the water, guys. Your bones will get drenched. From day 32 to day 35, I continued my little vacation on the rocky beach. It was nowhere near as nice as Lord Boss Crime's tropical island. I guess being a crime boss buys less rocky beaches. Darn, I hate that guy. It's so unfair how people can cheat and lie to get better stuff than I have. Yeah, I hate when people cheat and lie. It's the worst. I turned and saw that a mysterious anteater was walking right behind me. Do do not be alarmed. My name is Gojo, the giant anteater. Gojo, that's an interesting name. It almost rhymes with my name, which is Zozo. Yes, my parents were big Jujutsu Kaisen fans, but that's besides the point. I need your help. A monstrous, zombified fungus thrower kidnapped my husband, Jordan the Philosophical Lobster. Do you know him? 
He's always pondering the meaning of life and butter sauce. It doesn't matter. He's in trouble. I'd get him back myself, but the fungus thrower put an anti-Gojo veil around his mini base because he's also a big Jujutsu Kaisen fan. It's a very popular anime and manga. Will you save my husband? He's being held in the mushroom fields. Of course. I'll get right to it. From day 36 to day 39, I got right to it. The mushroom fields were fields and fields full of mushrooms. This is everything I'd expected it would be, and nothing less. But there was one thing more than I expected. An oddly ominous foreboding building. Oh man, I wonder what's inside that oddly ominous foreboding building. I approached the oddly ominous foreboding building. There was a tiny crack in the wall where I could see it all. The inside of the building, I mean, in one room, was the evil zombified fungus thrower. He was pacing in front of a lobster tank, which can contained none other than a lobster, the very same lobster I had been looking for, Jordan, the philosophical lobster. You may keep me captive inside of this tank, but my mind drifts endlessly through the sea of dreams and shadows. I am boundless. Oh, would you stop droning on? I liked it better when you were crying, because I'm a bad guy, and I like when people suffer. You sound a lot like a shadow architect type of the classic hero. You behave bad, and thus bad things happen. Don't you wonder what would happen if you did a good thing? Who needs good things to happen? I throw my fungus at you. The fungus thrower, well, threw a fungus into the tank, hurting the lobster a bit. Yeah, I guess I should have seen that one coming. I began to rack my brain for the greatest plan of all time. From day 40 to day 43, I ran in and performed my genius plan. Amazon delivery? I've got your Amazon delivery. That caught the zombified fungus thrower's attention. Uh, that doesn't even make sense. I don't even think I ordered anything on Amazon. But sir, it says here that this package is addressed to a Mr. ZF Thrower. That's gotta be you, right? Uh, that is my name, so this package must be for me. Uh, thank you. It's always nice to get new stuff. This must be that trebuchet I bought. They said it was on back order. What a nice surprise. No problem. Do you mind if I come inside and uh, use your bathroom? My boss, Jeff Bezos, doesn't let us use the bathroom on company time. Oh, uh, that's horrible. What a bad boss. Nobody's perfect, but I draw the line at workers' rights violation. Please, come inside and use my bathroom. I've just put a new bottle of lavender-scented hand soap in here. In my work, my hands get pretty stinky. I went inside and immediately destroyed him with my dancer sword. I felt kind of bad about it, since he was so friendly and all, but then I didn't because I struggle with emotional permanence. Okay, now where's Jordan, the philosophical lobster? I heard someone crying loudly in the nearby room and went to rescue him. Jordan, I'm here to rescue you. Oh, thank goodness. It was horrible in there. He made me drink juice. I was having horrible nightmares for weeks. Let's get you back to your husband, Gojo. Who? I've never met someone called that. You know, the giant anteater? I've never met a giant anteater in my life, and I'm not even married. Confused by this, I went straight back to Gojo, the giant anteater. Gojo, Jordan the philosophical lobster said he didn't know you. Jordan the what? I've never heard of that guy. Get out of my face. I'm confused about this whole situation. Oh well, guess I'd better just go on back home. From day 44 to day 49, I came across some sheep on my way back home and sheared them all. I then delivered the wool to Wally. Spasibo, you're like Dango to my cash. Again, this will be funny later. Will it? Hey, Zozo, don't you have some other things to do around the base? Good point, Wally. I'll go do that, and you workshop your jokes some more. I applied myself to some overdue base keeping. My vacation to the rocky beach and mushroom fields had kept me far from home for several weeks. It's amazing how how the place you live can feel so different when you've been away for a few days. I did a deep clean, you know, like I really put effort in. Remember what Jordan the Philosophical Lobster says, clean your room, kids. It's moral and ethical and makes you not a nerd. Once my stuff was neat and tidy, I went on to renovate the main room of the base with a campfire for staying warm in a cold, cold world. 
world, metaphorically and in a cozy way. After all of that was taken care of, I returned to Wally, who had stopped working on the statue some time ago. Hey, Wally, wanna go stare at the fire for a while? Ah, it was my favorite pastime in Warped Moscow. From day 50 to day 53, I woke up to the rabbit himself, Lord Boss Crime, attacking my base. Not again. Do you not know this is a crime? An illegal crime. That's the point, isn't it? I love crime so much that I became a boss of it. Tear it all down, Whisperers. Down the heck. The Whisperers tore through all of my base's defenses in seconds which made me realize that our base didn't really have any defenses. We made it through, Sunshine. Time to do property damage and maybe some robbery. Oh, and also guinea pig slaughter. We'll see who slaughters who. I ran down to face the Whisperers with my guinea pig claws and started ripping into those criminals like a weed whacker of criminals. I'll mow you like my lawn. Note to self, I need to mow my lawn. I cleared through the Whisperers as quickly as a flash, but noticeably, my lawn was still pretty overgrown. But that's a future Zozo problem. I gotta drive away Lord Boss Crime after my obligatory post-battle power-up. I became a giga guinea pig with 20 hearts. I could also climb walls now, which was an ability that few guinea pigs have ever learned, and even fewer have mastered. But little did I know, Lord Boss Crime was already gone, and he had taken Wally the Warped Moscow. My little did I know, soon became I know, and that made me know, and knowing made me sad. Oh no, he added another crime to his roster, kidnapping. He really is a boss of crime, and a lord of that even. From day 54 to day 57, I was thinking about how sad all that knowing made me. I strolled around my base a little, taking out all the fires I saw. Can't believe they tricked me like that. It's the oldest gag in the book. Sending a bunch of minions over to attack my base while stealing away a companion. I feel like I fall for this around the same time every 100 days. But I couldn't just wander around for long because I had a surprise guest. It was Gojo the giant anteater. Follow me back to the rocky beach. We'll talk there. So we continued on a long journey back to the rocky beach, which was difficult and taxing and hard and also tough. Not to mention challenging, but in the end, we got there. Is there something special we can obtain here, Gojo? Some kind of weapon or materials or uh, something? No, but you seemed really stressed. I figured you could use a nice getaway from everything to this beautiful rocky beach. That's what I would do if my friend was kidnapped, but I've never known anyone who got kidnapped, so I, I can't really relate. Rocky, that reminds me of some jokes that Wally would have made. They still don't make sense to me. I've got no idea who Wally is, but if you care about him, you should go and save him from Lord Boss Crime's base out in the Badlands. You're a confusing guy, Gojo. Wait, it's in the Badlands? That's perfect. Once I've made some new gear, I'll be able to rescue him. From day 58 to day 62, I was deep in the mines and feeling mighty finds. There were diamonds to find, and without them, I'd be in a bind. Whoa, I can't stop rhyming. Talk about bad timing. Hey, that's really weird. It's exactly what I feared. I chipped away at the wall and discovered that I no longer felt compelled to rhyme my words. And also, there were the diamonds I was searching for. I took the diamonds and crafted them into a diamond pickaxe. I've already got so many diamonds today, but could I get more? I shouldn't, but I will. I smashed through the next stone wall, hoping for more diamonds, but instead, a big, mean leafcutter ant came out to attack me. Ah, curse my twisted desire for material wealth. Please don't cut me, leafcutter ant. I'm not a leaf. I ran from the leafcutter ant, knowing that it was the most powerful opponent that I would ever face. Fortunately, Gojo, the giant anteater, descended from the heavens to protect me from this fearsome formican foe. Only I am excited under the mines. Huh, I really need to see Jujutsu and Kaisen instead of just being named after a character from it. Gojo contemplated the absurdity of his character, then devoured the ant, living up to his species name, the Anteater. I have expanded my domain. Or whatever they do in Jujutsu Kaisen. From day 63 to day 66, I was hanging out at my base, feeling a little glum about what had happened to Wally. 
I don't feel that strongly about him on a personal level, but I really want to get all those niche jokes he was telling, and that's never gonna happen if this statue remains unfinished. That's when I realized I could do more than just sit around, feeling sorry for myself, while Wally was probably being tortured in some dungeon beneath Lord Crime Boss's base. I'm sure a little torture builds character anyway, so I shouldn't beat myself up too much for not saving him immediately. But you know what's not a little torture? Watching Zozo videos! That's why you should subscribe and comment below if you think I should stop Wally from being tortured. From day 67 to day 70, I traveled to Lord Boss Crime's Boss Crime base in the Badlands. He's not a good dude, but I've got to admit, he builds a pretty sweet base. No, I don't under any circumstances have to hand it to Lord Crime Boss. I don't care how sweet his base is. He kidnapped my friend, who I'm here to rescue right now. Yeah, let's do it. But it wasn't as easy as I hoped it would be. Nothing important ever is, I guess. But it's still worth it to try your best. Especially when you've got to mow down some evil plant monsters to save your Moscow friend. I swiped at the Whisperer guards with my damn answer sword and turned them into lawn clippings. Then I was able to enter the lair of Lord Boss Crime. I'm gonna get my friend back and finally find out what the heck is up with all those weird jokes. From day 71 to day 74, I was infiltrating deeper into Lord Boss Crime's Crime Time Super Base when I was blocked by a mighty guardian. I always knew you'd make it this far, Zozo. No, Mantis Shrimp, you were planning to ambush and betray me from the Beginning? Come on, bro, Chacho. All I did was show up and give you some words of encouragement. You can really jump to conclusions sometimes. Well, I wish I could jump all the way to the beginning of this conversation and be nicer to you. We both laughed, and then the mantis shrimp showed me a secret treasure chest with a full set of diamond armor. I equipped the full set of diamond armor. Diamonds on the guinea pig with the... Uh, how does that song go? From day 75 to day 78, I climbed down into the oubliette where Wally the Warped Moscow was being held. Wally, I'm here to rescue you. Oh, Zozo, Lord Boss Crime and his goons tortured me like you wouldn't believe. Literally, the second I got here, they started torturing me. And every day since, they kept torturing me. They didn't even ask me questions or anything. Just torture for torture's sake. It was pretty bad, all in all. The torture ends now. I'm gonna set you free. Also, uh, I'm sorry, Wally. That sucks. I found a convenient weak spot in the wall of the oubliette, which Wally was apparently not clever to discover during his lengthy stay in the oubliette. But then again, he was being tortured the whole time, so yeah, I cut him a little slack. Come on, Wally, this way! Thank you, comrade Zozo. You'll be right behind me, right? Oh yeah, unless a destined showdown with my nemesis happens, then it might be a little while. Wally nodded and went through the opening in the door. I took a deep breath and waited for a bit in case of... Oh. I guess nothing is gonna happen. Guess again, sunshine. Killer Bunny leaped into the oubliette from above. Do you know what oubliette means, Zozo? Uh, yes, I do in fact. I've used it three times in the narration, and I think everyone can pick up from context clues that it's a dungeon. All right, wise guy. Want a little torture for the road? No thanks, I'm good. How about you? I went all dancers played on him in a big way, and he took a lot of damage. Lord Bob. Boss Crime wasn't expecting that, and definitely didn't want that to happen. Once again, Lord Boss Crime forgot his best weapon, Mr. Magma Sword, and this allowed me to claim a temporary victory. I'm out of here before I find out how temporary it was. From day 79 to day 84, Lord Boss Crime, who had survived our fight, went to the special room of his base where he kept Mr. Magma Sword. Hey, Mr. Magma Sword, do you know what polymerization means? And then they fused together into one super duper uber powerful being. Now I'm Mr. Lord Boss Crime. He was a killer rabbit with the powers of magma, a criminal mastermind the likes of which had never hopped upon the overworld. Wait until Zozo gets a load of me. From day 85 to day 89, I returned to the base where Wally was reading a book on how to recover from torture. Zozo, hey. 
I was wondering when you'd return from the Destin Showdown with your nemesis. The thing about that is, the Destin Showdown was more of an appetizer for the meal than it is the true ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. And I can't have dessert until I've stopped Lord Boss Crime. Don't sweat it, Zozo. Come look at this beautiful statue of Sylvester Stallone. Sure enough, Wally's statue was finished, and it was 80s action movie star legend Sylvester Stallone. Oh, now I get it. Rocky! That was a good one. Did you think of the Tango and Cash joke? I've never seen that movie, and probably won't. We stared for many hours at the impressive physique of Sylvester Stallone before remembering that we had a criminal bunny to deal with. So, Zozo, he's become a giant magma beast now or something? Is that right? Don't know how you'd know that, Wally, but yeah, I think that's what his last segment more than implied. In that case, you should take this fighter enchantment my mother always used to make for me back in warped Moscow. It kept me warm during the blood shortage. With the fire aspect, I can fight fire with fire. Good thinking, Wally. I enchanted my dancer's blade with the fire aspect. From day 90 to day 94, I went back to the mushroom fields after receiving a mysterious message. In my restless dreams, I see that biome, the mushroom fields. You promised you'd take me there again someday. I had no idea who'd sent me the message. It made me curious, so I went to the mushroom fields. There, to my shock, I saw a Whisperer. But he didn't look like he was here to fight. He was here to talk to me. Whisperer, you sent me that note? What was all that weird stuff about dreams and promises? It was actually a coded message, Zozo. If you read eight words in, you'd see that it said the mushroom fields, which led you here. Wow, that's a really clever code. Why did you want to talk to me? I could and see the way this war's tide is turning, Sunshine. When all the chips have settled, I want to be on the winning side. That's why I'm going to give you some information in exchange for a seat at the table. Hmm. Pony up what you've got, and we'll see. There's a secret entrance in the back of Lord Boss Crime's main base in the Badlands. Sneak in that way, and you'll have the element of surprise. What do you really want out of this, Whisperer? Truth. What well, we all want, Sunshine. An easy life. From day 95 to day 97, with that knowledge in my mind, I return to my base to do some final psychological preparations. Power of positive thinking. I will win this fight. I will. Yeah! Halfway through, Gojo turned up. Looking good, Zozo. I've always thought that if I wasn't a giant anteater, I'd be a guinea pig. What advantages does being an anteater actually give, besides an enhanced capacity to eat ants? Oh, uh, we've got Big Jump. Big Jump? Yeah, it's when we jump real big. Helps us catch flying ants. Can you teach me that? Sure. Gojo and I spent the rest of the afternoon big jumping until I was confident that I'd learned the true technique. That's when I leveled up 100 hearts and the ability to big jump with maximum power. Who knows how this will come in handy? On day 98, I received an important transmission from Jordan the Philosophical Lobster. In order to live a rich and fulfilling life, it is important to search for Zozo videos and comment saying what you'd like to see him do next. It's the only way to avoid the Chaos Dragon from devouring the All Mother with his... Okay, Jordan, I think we're getting away from the point here a little bit. Definitely subscribe to Zozo! On day 99, I arrived at the Badlands again, ready to use the advice that the Whisperer gave to me to my advantage. Mr. Lord Bosscrime is never gonna see me coming, but it wouldn't be that easy. When I snuck around to the back entrance, I saw two difficult obstacles, a moat without a bridge, and a big intimidating wall. He must have upped his security since I last infiltrated to save Wally, but I've got the skills to pay the bills, give the thrills, and perform the kills. First, I used my big jump to leap over the moat. First obstacle, complete. Now, for the second one. With the giant wall, I used my climbing ability to scale the wall without anybody noticing. It was the perfect stealthy entrance so I could take out Mr. Lord Boss Crime in stealth and secrecy. Ooh, I'm so excited. I used the cover of shadows to infiltrate the inner sanctum, making sure that nobody saw me. In the end, I saw Mr. Lord Boss Crime waiting in his inner, inner sanctum. <laughs> I can't wait for Zozo to turn up. I'm gonna explain. 
explain more words to him. Then I'm gonna take him out once and for all. I'll pound him to a pulp. Start pounding, Mr. Lord Boss Crime. Whoa! Before he could muster any of his attacks, I ran in with guinea pig speed and cut him down with my dancer's sword. He was defeated. I alone am exalted under the heavens. On day 100, I came back to the base victorious, only to see something shocking. Gojo the giant anteater was preparing to eat Wally the warped Moscow because Moscows are just big insects. Oh no, Zozo, my friend. I am being eaten. Is this the end of Wally? It was, in fact, the end of Wally. Gojo ate him, but seeing as it was day 100, I was feeling forgiving, so everything would be okay. Great work, Zozo. You saved the world. Thank you, Gojo. This is exactly what Wally would have wanted. <laughs>